Today on the workbench, I've got a HP all-in-one, model number 24-G061A. So in this particular video, I will be tearing this open and proceeding to replace the hard drive, have a look and see what RAM there is, and also check out the CPU cooler. So to begin with, I did try and use a flat plastic pry tool with not much luck. In the end, I found more luck with the just a Phillips head screwdriver in a corner, put it in between the plastic and twist. And that did pop it open fairly easily from there. Then from there, I could proceed with just a plastic pry tool and work around the actual display itself. So on this one, the screen lifts up and away from the back rather than the back coming off the screen. Do note there is a few cables that are connected that you'll need to be a bit cautious with when lifting the back or the screen away from the back. So as you can see it's coming apart relatively easily. Also just make sure prior to doing this that you have removed the base, two Phillips head screws on the bottom. And there you go, and as you can see, there is a webcam connection, the screen connection, and there is one other cable, but I can't quite remember what that one was for. So what I'm doing out of shot here is just unroute or rerouting where that cable is going just so I can lift it open a bit further. There we go. You should just be able to wiggle that loose to disconnect it. Even though the ribbon cable going to the display looks like it's twisted, that is how it is from the factory. So don't be too alarmed on how crinkled up it looks. Now in this instance I did leave it connected but I was able to fold it underneath the back. Now, a bit later on in the video I will change camera perspective but in this instance I'm just going to remove the 3.5 inch hard drive it's held in by a single screw and then you can just pull it towards you and that will, will remove the hard drive caddy you will also need to disconnect the SATA power and data cable connector which it seems to be rather firm on this one might be the same on yours but then from there, you should just be able to use a Phillips head screwdriver, put it between the gap and just lightly twist it. The hard drive itself is held in by two Phillips heads or four Phillips head screws on the side. Just a single, this had a Seagate one terabyte hard drive in there. So I will just fast forward the footage. Now with the new SSD installed, it's already been cloned over and it's ready to go. Just take a little peek around the mainboard itself. As we can see, the CPU cooler itself is extremely small. 
but being it is running a laptop 15 watt APU, it's really not going to generate that amount of heat or too much to be concerned about. There is only a single sodium to replace your RAM with. So coming from the factory, this one had four gig of DDR3 and that will be upgraded in the future. So removing the RAMs, very straightforward. Push away the two metal tabs and it should spit it out. There we go. Put it in on a 45 degree angle, push it in, push it down, and it's reinstalled from there. Next up, I want to take off the CPU fan, just have a bit of a look under there. As you can see, the plastic is only a shroud to blow over the actual very small copper cooler that's there. Or well, aluminium cooler, actually. Fairly dusty. And now from here, I'm just going to reinstall the cooler and proceed to uh, reassemble the whole system. And while you're reattaching everything, make sure you don't forget to reattach your webcam that was previously disconnected when you opened it up. But I hope this video has helped you and I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.